Welcome back to Granberry TV, everybody. It's time for our weekly sheriff's report. How are you doing? Doing good. How has uh, the week been? Well, we've been busy up there, but just administration type stuff. Mm -hmm. I've got a jail inspector here from the state of Texas, so mm -hmm. uh, that's been keeping us busy. Unfortunately, things have been running pretty smooth around the county. I've yeah. got a couple of stories that we can talk about, but um, the jail inspector has been taking up my time this week, and and they'll be finished later today and hopefully we'll have four years or this will be the fifth year straight of passing so awesome but I won't know that till later today so. <laughs> well hopefully you guys pass and uh, don't ruin your streak and uh, uh, it's a good thing that you guys have a smooth week this week that way you can focus everything with the inspector so yep. that's great well let's hear what uh, what you do have for us well, of course, the narcotics guys, they're always out there. And so, again, this week, that's, um, you know, what some of my information is. We've got um, a traffic stop that got us a drug arrest the other day on the 7th at around 5 p.m. The narcotics unit was conducting a drug investigation and arrested Bobby Wayne Smith, 23 years old, for possession of a controlled substance under a gram. And that's a state jail felony and bonds $5,000. Smith was stopped for a traffic violation at Acton Highway near Shady Grove. During the stop, um, Smith was found to be in possession of under a gram of meth, and he is currently out of jail on bond at this present time, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we did, um, speaking of the narcotics unit, we've had um, those guys working pretty hot and heavy on different fugitives also, and mm -hmm. one of our fugitives that we've been looking for for the last month um, has has been apprehended in in my jail um, from out in the I don't know if I should even talk about the whole story yet because it's all uh, but it's it's a guy from uh, Rancho Brazos so cool. Charles Youngblood is his name so he's back in my jail and then he'll probably be in jail to stay and until his court date and well, that's probably good. didn't look very good for him so we're glad to hear that uh, you guys have gotten your fugitive yeah, the city of Granbury got him early this morning, so that was ah, a really good thing. Great. Awesome. And we had a woman arrested for prescription fraud on the 3rd around 5 p.m. The narcotics unit was conducting a drug investigation and arrested Misty Michelle Makeda, 34 years old, for possession of a controlled substance by fraud. Uh, that's a felony, too, and bond was set at $15,000 in possession of a controlled substance under 28 grams, Class A misdemeanor, and bond was set at 3000 Charge stemmed from Makeda submitting the false prescription at a local pharmacy at the 400 block of West Pearl, and it was for hydrocodone. Makeda was also in possession of under 28 grams of hydrocodone when she was arrested, and she is currently in jail. So, um, And she's been in jail a number of times here just in the last month, so <laughs> she'll probably be on an extended stay at my hotel. Sounds like it. <laughs> Well, uh, again, we are glad that uh, things have been smooth for you while your inspector has been here, and uh, hopefully next week is smooth as well. I know last week we talked about how uh, it's, there's some weeks it just seems like you guys just have tons and tons going on, and then things go smooth, and you kind of have a cycle going. So hopefully next week is still smooth for you guys. Well, I so. hope so, because um, we got to get ready and get everybody. We've had some people off because of schools mm -hmm. and getting some training in. Um, Lieutenant Smith, he does all the training, supervises all the training, doesn't necessarily do it, but supervises it all for my office. And with the training, some of the training that we do, then uh, gets a lot of the people around the county, mm -hmm. Toller, Lipan, Granbury PD, constables, anybody that needs it, they can come to our training academy when we put on some of these schools. So I've been doing some of that on the weekends and during the week. Um, I had a number of classes going on, so that helps get the peace officers their training hours and um, keeps them in good standing with the state and, and um, gets them some good training. Awesome. So been doing a lot of that and, and then this summer is coming close, you know, it's mm -hmm. getting closer all the time. Um, so it'll, it's always busy during the summer months when, oh, yeah. when people are out of school and temperatures are warm out there and um, so we'll be prepared for this summer. Well, I know uh, graduation sweat two, three, three weeks away, I believe. Uh, I know as a TV station, we'll be there. So I think it's about three weeks away. And, but, uh, so maybe three weeks of smoothness for you before we really 
hit it hard. <laughs> Maybe I think so. this weekend will be good. It's, it looks like it's going to rain outside. Maybe everybody will stay indoors. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. I guess um, I don't. I know it's supposed to maybe rain later today, but um, I don't know if it's going to hang out or not. I didn't. I didn't have time to watch the weather. Guess we'll see. But we need the rain. We yes, the we rain. do. That's for sure. Well, do you have anything else uh, before we wrap up? Yeah, one thing that I, I know we've touched on this a couple different times over the last year, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Moore, that's been missing for a long time. Yeah. Uh, we had a group of retired Texas Rangers get together because we're trying every angle we can to try to follow up on every single lead we get when somebody thinks they might have saw Mr. Moore mm -hmm. um, and unfortunately there hadn't been too many of them so a group of Texas Rangers got together and decided to let's get a helicopter let's fly around the area fly around the lake and and get the boats out and do the sonar thing and see mm -hmm. if we see anything find anything and they were working on that the other day but unfortunately we have not still turned up anything so mm -hmm. we're not going to give up hope um, we're going to keep on searching for him and following up on leads, and we're not going to give up, especially when you know in the national news find out those those girls were found that have been kidnapped ten years ago. Yeah. So there's always hope out there, so we're going to keep on working. Definitely. Well, it's great to hear that you guys are going to keep working uh, until you find him, and uh, hopefully, you guys can find him soon. Uh, better. It's always better sooner than later, but. Uh, uh, we'll take anything we can get, and we just want to see him come yep. home safe. So, Well, uh, hopefully you have a great weekend, and I guess we'll see you next week. Thanks for coming in. See you. Thanks for having me.